Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am starting to do Deadly Women recaps. Since you guys seem to like my true crime that I did last year, why not bring it back since I am a recap channel and I pretty much recap everything. Start in China, 2011. We have this lady and her name is Sai Sha Lao and she is 41 years old. She's lost her husband in a car accident but now she's in a new relationship brian mock is a chinese born australian businessman and he has business dealings between china and australia brian is 57 years old with a daughter studying in australia ICI regularly travels between china and australia so whenever their paths cross they agree to see each other now back in australia Brian has two daughters and a grandson, and he's recently separated from his wife. After 40 years of marriage, Brian is dating again. For three years, I and Brian met on both sides of the world. Brian was honest to Sai about his situation back home. He let her know that he was married, but they were separated. Sai Xia wanted more out of the relationship, and she did not want to be the other woman. She gets her hopes up when Brian asks her to be patient. All the while, Sai is saying to him, you promised to get a divorce. So Brian believes that his marriage is over and Brian gives Sai a wedding ring. Sai Sha went and told her family, they're all excited, asking about when the big day is. But there's one thing Brian wasn't expecting. His wife, Mai, wanted to give the marriage another go. Sai Sha saw Brian as a ticket to becoming an Australian citizen so that she can be with her daughter in Australia. So Brian tells Sai Xia that things aren't going to work out and that things have changed. Sai Xia says to him she will destroy his life. It has changed. Going back to my wife. No! <laughs> Sai Xia vowed to get revenge on him. Sai Xia isn't willing to give him up that easily. Sai Xia made many threats to Brian, many of which over the internet. All of her threats seem to be directed towards Brian's wife, Mai. She decides to give Brian one more chance to make good on his promises. So Sai Sha is watching his wife, Mai, leave to go to work. And now she's gonna go to Brian's door and convince him to let her in. So Sai Sha is trying to convince him to leave his wife and he's saying, you know, that's not going to happen. Brian's grandson, Alistair, was in bed. He went to tend to his grandson, but before he went to go tend to him, he said, okay, can you please leave? So while Brian was gone comforting his grandson, Sai Sha put sedatives in his tea. After drinking the concoction, Brian became unconscious. Sai Sha decides to bind Brian's hands together while he's unconscious, laying on the floor. She then took a pair of garden shears and headed to the bedroom where his four-year-old grandson was. She stabbed Alistair multiple times. He ends up killing him. Brian Mock awakes from his unconsciousness and he yells, where's my grandson? Sai Sha threatened to poke his eyes out with the garden shears and told him to shut up. So Sai Sha starts to beat Brian up, kicking him, punching him. She waits 10 hours for his wife Mai to come home. So the entire time, Sai Sha is threatening Brian, saying that when his wife gets home, she's going to kill her. Brian's wife finally reaches home. Sai Sha begins to stab her with the garden shears. Stabbed Mai 23 times. So the entire time Brian was inside, hearing his wife, he was outside screaming. She, Sai Sha comes inside and says, I killed your wife. I stabbed her and she's dead. She told Brian, I killed everyone to make you suffer. So Sai Sha was not done on her murder spree. Brian's daughter, mother of Alistair, was on the way there and she had every intention on stabbing and killing her with the same garden shears. But before she had a chance to murder his daughter, the neighbors heard the commotion and called the police. When the cops came to get her, she was just sitting on the couch next to Brian like nothing happened. In 2015, Sai Sha pleads guilty to murder and ends up getting life in prison with a minimum sentence of 32 years. And this is the actual Sai Sha Lao. Y'all keep seeing me saying the name. I said this name was one of the most complicated names for me to keep pronouncing. So I hope I pronounced it correctly. Anyway, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.